Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this adorable kitty cat poncho. Now in this video, I am making this into an adult size, but you can make it totally to your liking and make it any size you want. Uh, just watch this entire video to get uh, tips and tricks on how to make this the size you wish to make. But I'll get into the supplies we are using and then I'll get into some measurements and we'll get into making this piece. So I I'm using all Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is such an economical project. I'm using my main color as oatmeal, which I'm using um, 1,090 yards, so 1,090 yards. So I bought three skeins of this oatmeal color, which I don't even have that much left over. And this is a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn. It comes in 364 yards per skein. So I bought three of these, and it's a medium yarn. So if you can't get Red Heart Super Saver, you can get something equivalent um, that is an Aran style yarn. And my main color is oatmeal. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of similar to buff, which is like a light tan color. And then my other color I'm using for the accessories is a coffee. It's coffee, it's over here. And this is also Red Heart Super Saver. I'm only using 120 yards of the coffee color. And then you can see back there, there's some soft white. I am using uh, 10 yards of the soft white just along the bottom edge here. And then a little bit of a detail in the eyes as well. Just a tiny bit of detail, just a little fleck for the eyes. And then I'm using just a little tiny bit of soft pink. Uh, you can use perfect pink or even shocking pink for the nose here. And I used uh, less than one yard to embroider the nose. So that is all the yarn. The size hook we are using today is an eye hook which is five and a half millimeters. You can use um, any um, hook size you want since you can make this in any size poncho you want. If you use a smaller hook, just know that this will turn out smaller. For a bigger hook, this will turn out bigger. This is a five and a half millimeter hook and I absolutely love this type of hook because it is ergonomic, it is hand carved wooden and I got this on the Etsy shop, would be fancy. I'll put the link in the description of this video for this hook specifically so you can get these fancy hooks and crochet with ease. Also, you're going to need a scissors, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker. I'm just using an extra piece of yarn to mark my stitches, but if you have a legit stitch marker, you can also use that uh, just to sew on some pieces. Actually, there's a lot of pieces that we're going to be sewing on and cutting a lot of yarn today. So those are all the supplies. Oh, and you're going to need a button that is optional. We are making a tail, so this button will keep the tail on, or you can optionally have it and take the tail off. It's a really cute little accessory uh, for this poncho. So this is what the front looks like. We are making pockets today. These pockets are four inches deep, so we have two nice pockets. And then on the back side, we have a cute striping and a tail with that button there. So those are uh, the how it looks and everything. You can see everything in the pictures as well, how this looks. We're making a hood on our poncho and uh, we have little slits here for our arms to come through so we can use these pockets. So now for measurements, our tail is nine inches long. You can make this as long or short as you want it to be. We have these slits on our front here that are 10 inches around, so your arm will easily fit right through those uh, to the front to fit into the pockets, which I said are four inches deep. Now from the shoulder, all the way from the shoulders of this piece down to the bottom, so the length of this is 27 inches for me. But like I said, you can make this short or long, however short or long you want it to be. The shoulders across from here to the other side is 17 inches. And the hood length from top of the hood all the way down to the shoulder is between 15 and 16 inches. But again, you can make your hood as short or long as you want. The waist from across these slits from this side to that side is 48 inches. And bottom here from this corner here across to that corner there is 50 inches. 
and those are all the me measurements. Now I'll have all that information in the notes section on the blog for this written pattern. You're getting this written pattern for free on my website, so make sure you check that out. The link is in the description of this video if you're watching this on YouTube. And um, all that, yeah, all the information for measurements, all the supplies you're going to need, everything is in the blog to answer all your questions. Please watch this entire video to get different sizing information to make yours smaller or bigger. This is going to be a size small medium. This will fit me in a size small medium for women's. So uh, you want it to be a little bit baggy because it is a poncho style. So it will be a little bit loose and you can see how it fits me in my photos. So those are all the supplies and measurements. Now before we begin I have to say a big thank you to my dad Juan Osmond for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos at Yarn Utopia. So make sure you check out our channel and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. He's just being silly with the camera right now. So uh, also, you can hashtag Yarn Utopia if you make this and post it on social media. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Snapchat. I'm Yarn Utopia on Snapchat. I've been snapping along the way making this and it was so much fun to make. So let's get started and make the kitty cat poncho. All right, let's start off with our main color and make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can begin. Let's start out by chaining 75 or any uh, number that is a multiple of five. Okay, so I'm gonna chain 75. So we're gonna go yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. I won't make you watch me do all 75 chains. So just chain something in a multiple of five or chain 75, something that will go over your head. Uh, and then I will meet you up when I have my 75 chains. All right, so I have my 75 chains, as you can see here. It's just a really long strand. Um, now what we're going to do without twisting the chain, we are going to slip stitch into the first chain uh, that we made. So make sure this isn't twisted and then come all the way to the very first chain way over here. You can see I'm kind of flipping this around like this. And then I'm gonna go into this first chain. I personally like to go into the back ridge here. Okay, so I just turned my chain toward me and see that back ridge. I'm gonna slip stitch in there. So go in and then yarn over and pull it through and pull through. And now we're going to chain up two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. Now here and throughout this whole pattern, that first chain up two is not going to count as anything. So just ignore that. It does not count as a stitch. We are going to double crochet into that same chain that we just slip stitched into. So yarn over and go into that same chain. Again, I'm going into the back ridge there. Then yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. So now we're gonna do that in each stitch or each chain across here around this a whole loop here. So yarn over, go into this next chain right here. I'm going in those back ridges. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next chain and make a double crochet. So we're just double crocheting all the way around this uh, whole ring here. So this is the top of the neck area. So we're just going to do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round two. All right, just finishing round one here, just double crocheted in each uh, chain around. And also I wanted to remind you the reason I work in the back, uh, the back ridges of the chain is because on the opposite end here now, you can see it looks like stitches and they look clean. Uh, and we will be working in these stitches uh, when we make the hood of our poncho. So make sure to do that when you're working around this and this is what your piece should look like. So now without twisting anything, make sure it's not twisted we are going to slip stitch to the first double crochet. So remember I said that this chain two right here 
does not count as anything. One, two. We're not going to do anything with that. We're going to go into this first double crochet right in here, go into there, and then yarn over, pull through, and pull through for that slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to chain two, one and two. We're going to turn our work around. So we're looking at the inside of our poncho here. Okay, so this is the inside. And now we're going to increase this round. This round two says to put two double crochets in the next stitch. So this doesn't count as a stitch. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's really small. We're not going to work in there. You can see one, two, there's our chain two. We're not going to work in this little thing right here. We're going to work in this stitch. And if you spread everything ar around here, spread everything out, you can see this is a stitch. So we're gonna put two double crochets in there. So yarn over, go into there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, another double crochet in there. So there's two double crochets in that stitch. And then we're gonna put one double crochet in the next 14 stitches. Okay, so one, two, three. Now I'm not going to count all of these. Um, the thing is, if you did chain less in the beginning or more in the beginning, your uh, increase at this point will be a little different. Just increase five stitches on this round. And uh, the way to do that is if you chained like say 65 and you want to increase by five stitches, so you want 70 stitches for round two, then you will have to divide 70 by five and that will be the amount of stitches in between your increase. And I hope that makes sense. If not, I will put the mathematical um, table on my website, yarnutopia.com, in this blog. So you will see uh, how to increase differently for different sizes. So let's see here, one, two, and then the next 14 stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With five stitches left here, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat. So put two double crochets in the next stitch, and then one double crochet in the next 14 stitches. Okay, so at the end of this round, I will have 80 double crochets because I'm increasing five stitches evenly all the way around. So um, if you need to do that mathematical change, you can check out the website. Otherwise, I'm just going to re re repeat this all the way around. So it's two double crochets in that stitch and then one double crochet in the next 14 stitches and then two double crochets in the next and then one double crochet in the next 14 stitches. And I'm gonna do that five times so that I get an even increase around and I will have 80 double crochets at the end of round two. So I'll meet you up for round three. When you come back around, make sure to get this last stitch. Even though this chain up two looks like it's in there, we still need to count. So just make sure you count um, all your increases and where you need to put your stitches because that is a stitch right there. So make sure you do that. And then now after round two, I have my 80 double crochets. So I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet right here. So one, two is this chain up two. Go into the stitch here and slip stitch. All right, so for round three, we're gonna chain up two, and now we're gonna turn our work to look at the outside of our poncho. And we're going to kind of repeat um, the, the way we've been working. We are going to increase, but we're gonna increase actually 10 times this round. So I wanna get up to 90 stitches in this round, so we're gonna increase 10 times. And we are going to put two double crochet in this next stitch, which is right here. Okay, so don't think that this stitch, it, it's very s small and you can't really see it. So I hope you don't get to that too confused for a stitch. But we're going to go into this double crochet stitch right here. And we're going to put two double crochets in there. So one and two. 
okay? And then we're gonna put one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So one, here's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to repeat what we've been doing. So put two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next seven stitches. And at the end of this round, I will have 90 double crochets. Now, if your stitch count is different than mine, if you're doing more or less chains, you will have to do the calculation of um, increasing by 10 stitches evenly around. So do that and I'll meet you up for the next round. All right, just coming back around here, make sure you're doing your counting. So I have my increase right here, one, two, and then the next uh, seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and make sure that last stitch gets that stitch in there. And then we're gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet, okay? Remember, nod that chain up two. Go into the double crochet, yarn over, pull through and through, then chain up two, and then turn the work around, okay? Just like that. And we are looking at the inside of our um, poncho now, okay? So without, you know, twisting anything, you can see here, if I lay this down, you can see it's starting to kind of increase, uh, making this kind of round, and then this is kind of coming out, looking good so far. Going on to round four here. So we're looking at the inside of the poncho. We are going to put two double crochets in this next stitch, which is right here. Okay, put two double crochets in there. One and two. And then one double crochet in the next eight stitches this time. Okay, so we are increasing by 10 stitches each round now. And uh, this next round here, round four, we are going to have 100 stitches at the end of this round. So two double crochets in that first stitch, one double crochet in the next eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then repeat that around. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, okay. And then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then repeat. So do that all the way around. I'll meet you up when I have my 100 double crochets all the way around. All right, I have 100 double crochets around. So now I'm gonna slip stitch to that first double crochet right in there. Ignore that chain up two, yarn over, pull through and through. Chaining up two, turning the work around. So now I'm going on to round five. We're looking at the outside of our poncho and we are going to increase again by 10 stitches. So we're gonna have 110 stitches at the end of round five and we're going to put two double crochets in this next stitch right here, one and two. And then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next nine stitches this round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So put two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two and then one double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. And then just repeat. So we'll have, like I said, 110 stitches at the end of round five. So then I'll meet you up. We'll go on to round six next. 
All right, just finished round five here. Going on to round six, we're slip stitching into the first double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through and through. Chain up two, one and two. Turn the work so you're looking at the inside of the poncho now. Going on to round six, we are going to put two double crochets in this next stitch here. Okay, one and two. And then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches this round. So you can see that we're increasing um, 10 times each round and the number is going up uh, in that increase. And you can see that in the written pattern as well. So just put two double crochets in that next stitch and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then just repeat. So put two double crochets in the next stitch. Whoopsie. One and two. And then one double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. So at the end of round six, we are going to have 120 double crochets around. So I'm just gonna do that and then I'll meet you up for round seven. All right, finished with round six. So I have 120 double crochets around. So I'm just gonna slip stitch to this first double crochet right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And I'm gonna put this down for a second here. So we were looking at the inside of our poncho. You can start to see that it is taking its shape. So at this point, if you are done increasing, if this will fit, this will probably fit like a child size right now, um, you can go on to the part where we just go straight down. Um, no more increasing. But I am going to continue my increases. I want it to fit me and I'm an adult, so I want it to be a little bigger. So let's uh, chain up two and turn the work. So we're looking at the outside of our poncho. And we are going to increase again. We are going to put two double crochets in this next stitch right here. One and two. And then we're gonna put one double crochet in each of the next 11 stitches this round. So you can kind of see or, you know, you can see the um, increase on each round, how it is increasing. And it's a it's like a pattern. So I am going to just uh, do round seven, just like this, putting two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next 11 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11 and then I'm going to repeat so two double crochets in the next stitch one and two and one double crochet in the next 11 stitches and at the end of round seven we are we are going to have 130 stitches around so I'll meet you up for round eight all right, so I did that repeat and I have 130 double crochets. So again, slip stitch to this beginning and this is getting to be repetitive, but um, we are still increasing here. I'm going to chain up two, one and two, turn the work. So now we're looking at the inside of the poncho going on to round eight. I'm going to increase again. We are going to put two double crochets in the next stitch right here and then one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches this round, okay? Again, you can tell that uh, pattern is increasing uh, by the number of single double crochets in between the increase stitches. So uh, then we're just going to repeat that. So two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the next 12 stitches. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And at the end of round eight, we'll have 140 double crochets. So let me just get past this increase here. We have two in the first stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 10, 11, 
and 12 and then repeat so two double crochets in this next stitch one and two and then one double crochet in the next 12 stitches so I'll just meet you up for round nine when I have all of my 140 stitches around all right, just finishing up round eight here. So I do have my 140 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet of this round. And then going on to round nine, we're going to increase some more, chain up two, turn the work. So we're looking at the outside of our poncho. Okay, at any point here when you're done increasing, if you feel that you're comfortable with this um, increase, you can hop to the part where we're not increasing anymore. But I am going to increase on round nine here. We're going to put two double crochets in this first stitch here. And then we're going to put one double crochet in, you guessed it, the next 13 stitches for this round. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around so at the end of round nine we'll have 150 stitches all the way around so let me count here one two in the first stitch one two three four here's five and six seven oopsie <laughs> seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then we're going to repeat. So put two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then put one double crochet in the next 13 stitches. So like I said, 150 stitches at the end of round nine. I will meet you up for round 10. All right, just finishing round nine here. We're gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet, just like every row before this. And we are going to chain up two, one and two, turn our work around. So now we're looking at the inside of our poncho. And for round 10, I'm going to do one more increase. But again, if you want to stop increasing here, if this is as big as you want it to be, you can go on to our non-increase section. Um, that would be the next round. But uh, for round 10, I'm going to put, see this stitch right, it looks like a stitch right here that's not a stitch. So we're gonna go into, I like to just spread this around, apart here so you can see the first stitch. We're gonna put two double crochets in there, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next 14 stitches this row. So it's, um, again, that same pattern of increasing and we are going to have 160 double crochets at the end of this round and this is round 10. So I am going to do that, just two double crochets in that next stitch and then one double crochet in the next one, two, three, four, five. Here's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, and 14 stitches there. So then repeat. So two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the next of 14 stitches. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round 11 next. All right, I just finished round 10 here, so I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet of this round, and now I'm done increasing. If you want to continue increasing, if you need to make this a little bigger, you can continue with the established pattern, just increasing uh, 10 times each round. So round 11 then would have 170 stitches, round uh, 12 would have 180 stitches, and so on and so forth, until you are satisfied with the increase. And if you want to try this, on, make sure this goes over the shoulders and down, uh, somewhat down on the shoulders. Once you are satisfied with how big it is, this this is how big I want mine to be, we do not have to increase anymore. So rounds 11 through 25, 
are not increasing, we're gonna chain up two, this is our repeat here, we're gonna chain up two, turn our work, when we're working on odd numbered rows, so rows 11, 13, 15, and so on, we're gonna be looking at the outside of our poncho. When we're working on even rows, rounds 12, 14, 16, 18, etc., we'll be on the inside, we'll be looking at the inside of our poncho, okay? Now we're just going to be putting one double crochet into each stitch around and then we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet just like I showed you in each round and then chain up two, turn the work and just put one double crochet in each stitch around. That's for rounds 11 through 25 or however long you want to make this until uh, it measures about between 12 and 14 inches. Uh, that will get to your elbow area, the elbow I guess, um, once this full piece measures 14 inches. Now I'm just going to pause this for a second here and measure out how long this is right now. Uh, that's 10 rows, so that's about 6 inches, okay? So I want to make, that's about, what is that, 15 centimeters, okay? So I want to make this 14 inches, which is about 34 35 centimeters, okay? That's how long I want to make it because from the neck area down 14 inches for me is right to my elbow, okay? Uh, that will be a little bit, I guess, a little bit longer than my elbow area. Uh, so I measured that out and that's where the pockets, we're going to start uh, making those slits for where the arms are going to come out. So uh, we have to change up the pattern at that point. So once my piece is to down to uh, where my elbows reach, or a little bit longer, I am going to meet you up. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's in, in the pattern it says it's written. Um, that's I'm on round 11 right now, and I'm thinking it's going to get me to round 25. Okay, so we're just putting one stitch in each stitch around for as many rounds as you need. I'm going to do rounds 11 through 25. Once I finish round 25, I'll meet you up because we'll go on to the next step of creating those slits where our arms need to come through. All right, I just finished round 25. So we're looking at the outside of our poncho. I'm going to pull this through and remove my hook just so I can show you what this looks like. So this is what your piece should look like now. So you can see the increase down here and this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to measure this <laughs> because I said it was going to be about 14 inches and yep it comes to about 14 inches. And if you flip this over I can show you it's the 35 centimeters. Okay so that's how long um, you want yours to be if you're making this an adult size medium because I'm an adult size medium woman size. So that's the measurement of this piece um, for right now. Now what we want to do is you can see down the back here you can see our center seam, okay? You wanna make sure that's in the center of the back, okay? So kinda um, stretch this out and flatten it and make sure that this is centered down the center of the back. And then we're gonna flip this over to the front, okay? So we're looking at the front of our poncho, just like this. And then what we're going to do is count evenly in the front here. You can kinda just eyeball it, but about, um, whatever your measurement is from one side of your body to the other side of your body. For me, across my waist area from one side of my seam of my shirt to the other side is about 16 inches across, okay? So I measured across here, across the front here, 16 inches in the center, okay? And Yours might be a little different. You might be, you know, 14 inches or up to, you know, 20 inches across the front of you. So we're just going to measure this across this front here, and then we're going to um, mark our stitches with a piece of yarn, okay? So I'm just going to come to this side and mark, I'll just mark this stitch here, okay? And I'm guessing it'll be about between, uh, for anybody is a little different. It'll be, it might be 40 stitches for you. It might be up to 60 stitches for you. So I'm just marking this stitch here. And then I'm going to go across here, measuring 
about 16 inches, so right about here. And I'm going to count my stitches now. I'm just going to put this needle in there just to mark it for now. So counting and counting the one that it, this one is marked in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm going to do 45 stitches just as um, a number. I don't know. You could do 50 stitches or 60 stitches or whatever. But I'm just going to do 45 stitches in the front here. Okay. I'm going to go into this 45th stitch here and mark it with another piece of yarn. You can use a legit stitch marker if you want to. I'm just going to mark these stitches. Okay. Now, the rest of these stitches, so the, these stitches in the front here that I marked are going to be considered the front of the poncho. The rest of the stitches around here are going to be considered the back of the poncho in the written pattern that I have on my website. So you can find that information in the written pattern that's linked in the description of this video. So now what we're going to do is actually I'm going to fasten this part off completely. So I'm just going to chain one, and then I'm going to cut my yarn, and we're going to pull that all the way through, and pull it tight, okay? Then what we're going to do, since we ended on an odd numbered row, row 25, and we were looking at the outside of our work, this next st step, row 26, is going to be worked from the inside. So we're going to flip this up. I'm going to insert my hook into this marked stitch right here. Okay, if you want to, you can remove your stitch marker at this point. And I'm going to hook on the same color onto my hook here. Just like that. And then we're going to, actually we're going to chain up three. One two and three and that's going to count as a stitch now here and throughout the chain of threes count as a stitch so we're not going to work anything in this first stitch here since this chain of three counts as a stitch we're going to double crochet until we get to the next stitch marker so i will have 45 stitches okay so at this point i'm just going to put one double crochet into each of these stitches until I get to the next stitch marker uh, and then I will meet you up for the next step. Alright, when I come to this next uh, stitch marker here, I am going to double crochet into that stitch and then I'm just going to remove this stitch marker. Okay. And so I have 45 stitches. I'm not going to work in any of these stitches. These stitches will be unworked and we'll come back to those uh, for the back side of the poncho. So now we need to go on to row 27. Now row 27 through 36 are the same. We're going to chain up three and then turn our work. So now I'm looking at the outside here of the poncho. Remember, odd numbers are looking at the outside of the poncho, even numbers are looking at the inside of the poncho. And the chain of three counts as a stitch. So that we chained up three, we're not going to work in this stitch right here. We're going to double crochet into this stitch and in each stitch across. Now when we get to the very end, we do have to double crochet into the very last chain up three stitch. And you want to make sure that you have the same amount of stitches on each row. So on this row, row 27, I will have uh, 45 stitches all the way across. And then I'm just going to chain up three, turn my work around, and double crochet across for row 28. And we're going to do that until we reach row 36. Okay, so we're going to do a total of 10 rows of this Um front part of the poncho. And then once I finish row 36, I'll meet you up because we're going to fasten this part off and then we're going to go on to making the back side of the poncho. All right, just finishing row 36 here. Don't forget to double crochet in the chain up three at the end to make sure you have all your same amount of stitches, which I have 45. 
All right, so now at this point, this is what your piece should look like, okay? There we go. That's what it should look like. So we have just this big rectangular piece of, on this end here. So now this side is going to be where the slit is and that side is going to be where the slit is for your arms to fit through. So now let's fasten this part off by chaining up one and then cutting our yarn and okay. then pulling that all the way through and then pulling that tight. And now we're going to turn this back upside down here. So this is what it will look like. Okay. And now we're going to work on the back side of our poncho. So what I'm going to actually do is we're going to start on the inside. Okay. If you're looking at your poncho like this, okay, with this, this is the bottom, that's the neckline. Okay, you're looking at it like this, the front of it. We're gonna go here to the left side and go on the inside, because remember, this was row 25 and we worked on the outside. So now we have to work at the even row. Row 26 of the back side is worked from the inside. Okay, so we're looking at the inside of our poncho. We're gonna go to this very next free stitch right here that's next to this one right here. We're gonna go into here. Okay, and then we're just going to pick up our yarn, hook that on the hook and pull it through. And then we're going to basically repeat what we did for the front of the poncho for the back side. So chain up three, which counts as a stitch, double crochet into each stitch now, which for me will be, let's see here, I had, let me calculate, let me get my calculator because I can't think right now, 160. So I had 160 stitches and I used 45 up in the front, okay? So I should have 115 stitches on this back now. So I'm going to double crochet in 115 stitches and then chain, turn my work, chain up three and double crochet across. Just remember that the chain up three does count as a stitch Okay, so we will, when we come back, we will have to double crochet into this um, chain of three right at the top there. And then we're just going to double crochet across, you know, chain of three, double crochet across, turn the work, chain of three, double crochet across. And I'm going to do that for the same amount of rows as I did for the front of the poncho, which is 10 rows. So once I get to row 36, on the back side of the poncho, I'll meet you up because we are going to then attach the front and back piece to make it into one piece again so that these aren't just flaps. We're gonna, we're gonna attach everything. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, that way we'll have these nice slits in between here. See, this is going to create a nice opening for our arm to fit through. So it'll be really nice. So I'll show you that uh, after I finish row 36 of the back side. All right, I just finished row 36 of the back. So this is what your piece, it should line up with the front one. You can see the slit now is going to be created working in uh, the next round here. So this is what your piece should look like. So this is the front and we just worked the back, the 10 rows um, in the back here from rows 26 to 36 here. So. There's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, ooh, 35, sorry. Well, maybe I counted wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 rows there, okay? So we have 10 rows in the front one, 10 rows in the back one. If you're not lining up with the 36 rows, that's okay. I, um... I have 36 rows from top to bottom here. So this is what the poncho should look like in the shape. So now, well that's a little off center, but now we're going to connect this, the back and the front so that they, these um, create the holes for your arms to go through here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're not even going to fasten off here. Let me turn this back around. We're just going to Chain two here, this is not going to count as anything. Chain two, turn your work. Let's make sure we're working. Yep, we worked on the outside. So now row 37 is in 
odd row here. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. We're going to work on the outside. So let's double crochet in each stitch on the back and then we'll uh, come to the front here. But we're going to double crochet into this stitch right here and it this chain up two doesn't count as anything. So let's double crochet into this first stitch, okay? Because when we come back around, when we come back through, we're gonna work on this front piece here and we're gonna double crochet into this chain three, but we're gonna skip this chain two here and just slip stitch into that double crochet. And I'll show you how what I mean when I get there, but I'm just going to double crochet in each stitch on this back. So this is row 37 now. And for some reason I, I'm working on the ins, I'm looking at the inside of my poncho, but at this point uh, it really wouldn't matter if you're looking at the outside or the inside because we're almost done. <laughs> so um, it's not going to really matter which way you're looking at, if you're looking at the inside or the outside. But since I ended uh, looking at the outside, I'm turning my work around and going across here. So I'm going to go across the whole back, just putting one double crochet into each stitch. Once I get to the slit uh, where the back part ends and we are going to jump to the front piece, I'll meet you up and I'll show you what to do at that point. Alright, so I just finished double crocheting across the back, but don't forget that this chain up three counts as a stitch, so we are going to double crochet in there before we hop to the front. So go into this front loop here and this back loop here and make your double crochet. Okay, then we're going to bring this front piece up to it here and we are going to double crochet into this first stitch right here. Okay, and if you want to, there's a straggler there so we can double crochet over the top of that. But we're going to just double crochet just like that. Simple. Then just double crochet across here just like this and then when we get to the other side of the other slit we are going to double crochet across there. You can see that this creates a little bit of a gap here. When we come back through, uh, when we work around this slit, we are going to pin these two together like this, okay? So that that row will be one row, okay? So right now it looks like that. We're going to kind of close it just like this so that just these 10 rows are going to be where the slit is because it looks like now there's 11 rows but we want just 10 to make it small just enough to put your arm through so we'll do that later but I'm going to just double crochet until I get to the next uh, side and then I'll show you how to go on to the next round Alright, I just finished the front here. Remember this chain up three counts as a stitch, so we are going to double crochet in there. And then we're going to slip stitch to this very first double crochet. Remember I said not the chain up two, one, two, not that. Go into the double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And then we're going to chain up two and turn our work around. Okay, for some reason I'm looking at the outside of my piece, so I, there may have been a point where I didn't turn my work on run round, which is fine, it's okay, nobody's going to notice anything, so if you didn't turn your work for one row, but this is what it looks like now. So now this is attached, so you can see these little slits for your arms. So now rounds 38 through 48, so the next 10 rounds here are going to be, actually I think that's 11 rounds, but we're going to just double crochet in each stitch around. For me, I have a total of 160 stitches, okay? And then we're just going to basically repeat what we did at the very um, above these slits here, uh, where we double crocheted around and then slip stitched to the beginning 
double crochet and then chained up two, turned our work, and double crocheted around. So there's that seam in the back there. You can see, kind of see, you can't really see very well. But um, that is what we're going to do now, is we're going to double crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to the first double crochet, then chain up two, turn the work, and then double crochet around. Again, I have 160 stitches, and I'm doing this for rounds 38 through 48. Now, you can make this longer if you wish. Um, you can make this as long as you want it to be. Uh, go ahead. You can make it as short as you want it to be, too totally up to you but we're just doing a simple double crochet uh, around here and then we're gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet chain up two, turn the work and double crochet around and we're just gonna keep doing that until we are satisfied with the length so I think I'm gonna do 10 rounds I'll meet you up when I finish round 48 and then we'll go on to the next step of finishing up or making the rest of this poncho all right, I'm just finishing up row 48 here, and like I showed you earlier, we're slip stitching into this double crochet. And after you finish however long you want to make this, I'm finishing with row 48. You can finish with whatever row you want, um, just whatever length you want yours to be. We're fastening off now, so let's chain one and cut our yarn and then pull that through and pull it tight. And then we'll sew that in later. But this is what your piece should look like now, okay, like a big giant poncho. Uh, you know, you could just have a plain design and just have a plain poncho here. Um, when we do finish the hood, though, I'm going to come back around and crochet around these slits here um, so just keep that in mind but right now I'm going to make the hood so I'm going to turn this over here okay and we are going to count I'm going to flip this so we can see the back seam and we are going to count 37 stitches from the seam here so you can see where our chain is our chain up stitch here and this is basically where the back um, back seam is so we're gonna count 37 stitches that's because I chained 75 in the beginning and about half of that is 37 it's like 37 and a half so we're gonna count 37 stitches so we're going to count from here okay and I'm going to count here one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. So yep, it should be like right across the street or <laughs> right across the way from your back seam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the inside. So I'm going to open this neck area up and insert my hook in that 37th stitch there and I'm going to grab onto my yarn here and pull that through okay and then we're going to chain up three let me twist that around there okay so yarn over and pull through one two and three and that is going to count as a stitch now that I'm working this way I'm going to I'm working looking at the inside of the poncho in the neck area we are going to work in rows so I am going to double crochet into each stitch on this foundation round on this foundation row here okay we're working the opposite way and we're making the hood now, so if you did not want a hood on your poncho, you can skip this uh, section and fast forward to the next part of making some of the accessories. But I am going to double crochet across here, and then I'll show you how to go on to row two of the hood. Okay, so I just double crocheted across the neckline here, uh, but what I uh, noticed is that the center is actually this stitch, so I'm actually going to leave the last stitch unworked, so I actually have 74 stitches around the neck. Um, that's in case if you have an odd number, like if you did, you know, 75 chains in the beginning like me, or 65, or 85, or whatever, then just leave that one stitch unworked. If you did um, a multiple of 10, so if you did 60 chains, or 70, 
or 80 chains, you can work in the last stitch. Um, but that's for different sizing. But if uh, you, it, but if you changed or if you chained um, 75 in the beginning, leave that last stitch unworked. And so we have 74 stitches across here. So now let's chain up three and turn our work. That chain up three counts as a stitch. We're gonna look at the outside of our poncho now. Okay, and we are just going to, for rows two through 30, we are going to double crochet across. Remember, since that chain of three counts as a stitch, we're gonna uh, skip working in this stitch here because that chain of three is basically worked in that stitch. So we're gonna hop to this next stitch here and double crochet across. And don't forget to double crochet in the very last stitch, that chain of three at the end right here this is a stitch right here so make sure you work into this as well at the top and then chain up three turn your work and double crochet across and so on so you should have 74 stitches for every or you should have the same amount of stitches for every row until this measures it's going to measure about 15 inches for me for a row till i get to row 30. i'm going to then show you what to do next after row 30 but if you need your hood to be a little smaller a little shorter or a little longer, you can make this as long or short as you want it to be. But I'm going to do uh, 30 rows total and once I get to row 30 I'll show you how to close the top of the hood and uh, we'll go on to the next step after that. Alright, so as I was crocheting this, I ended up measuring this uh, piece, this top part, this hood, and um, I realized that actually 27 or 26 rows um, was the length I needed it to be, which is 15 inches. Now, to measure how big you want your hood to be, measure from the top of your head, down the side of your ear, down to your shoulder. And that measurement, so the crown of your head all the way down the side to your shoulder, should be the measurement of the length of this um, hood. And you can go a little bit longer if you want to for a little bit slouchier look. So mine is 16 inches okay so my from the top of my head down to my shoulder is 15 inches but my um, measurement here I ended on row 27 and that measures 16 inches you can see the opening right there so about 16 and a half inches uh, which is about 42 41 centimeters about 41 centimeters so that's how long I'm gonna stop here actually so I said 30 rows but I'm actually going to fasten off at uh, row 27 and what we're going to do is chain one and then we're going to cut our yarn very long actually to uh, use it for sewing Okay, so I'm going to snip that and then we're going to pull that whole strand through that chain one there. So I'm just going to pull it all the way through and that way it secures that and now we have a long strand for sewing. So what I'm going to do is grab my yarn needle and we are going to yarn our needle with this strand. I'm going to put this hood, I'm going to fold it in half but I'm going to fold it inside out. So we're looking at the outside here so I'm going to fold it kind of like backwards here okay and just this top line here we folded this in half okay this is the top of the hood we're going to sew this closed from the inside and then I'm going to just put it right side out when I finish and what I'm going to do is just whip stitch you can mattress stitch you can single crochet this or slip stitch this closed but I'm just gonna go through one side and out the other and then pull and then I'm gonna go out the uh, in the same side just like this and pull through both layers it through each stitch over the top of the hood okay so I'm closing the very top of the hood now and what I want to do is once that's closed I will put it uh, right side out because right now it's inside out <laughs> so I'll put the right side out then after I sew this all up just whip stitching it in each stitch make sure each stitch matches up okay and then once this is sewn up um, we'll just go on to the next step together Alright, just uh, fastening off, we are going to go through a couple loops or a couple stitches here. Hold that loop on our finger here. 
okay? And then come back through that loop and then pull tight. Okay, and we can do that once, twice, or three times. I'll do it twice here. Oops, there we go. And then we're going to sew in this end. Since it's still on our needle, we'll just go underneath some stitches, just like that. And then we'll come back through and back and forth just to fully secure this. And then once you're satisfied with it being sewn in, you can stretch it out and cut any extra. Be careful with your scissors. There you go. All right, so that's, then we have to just put this um, right side out here. So that's all sewn in and our hood is complete. Look at how nice that seam. You can't even tell, it's right there, but you, really can't even tell. <laughs> so awesome. So now we um, have the hood. Now we want to just uh, clean up this edge here around the hood and the edge around these slits here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same color. You can use the same color or a different color. And I'll just show you how to do it around the edge of this um, the slit here. But it's the same concept around the hood and around the other slit. But I'll just show you this one example. We are going to grab our hook and our yarn and start in any spot really. I'm just going to start, actually I'm going to start on this side. Okay, and when you come, remember earlier I said that we were going to pin this together like this? That's what I'm going to do right now. So at the bottom part of here, we're going to come to actually right here. See this stitch right here? We're going to come to the bottom of it. So right in there. And then I'm going to hook on my yarn. Right there. And I'm going to chain up one just to attach. And then we're just going to go directly across here and make a single crochet in this stitch right here. Basically where your hook fits is where you should make it. So yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that kind of tacked that together there. Looks good. Awesome. Then we're going to go up this side and like I said earlier, wherever your hook fits is where you should single crochet. So a single crochet is just going in where it fits, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Okay, that's a single crochet. Now I'm working over this loose end here so I don't have to sew it in later. And I'm just going to, oopsie, single crochet all the way around this slit and then I'll do the same thing for the other slit and then I'll do this uh, same thing around the edge of the hood. So I'm just going to single crochet just like this all the way around. Um, and then when I get back around, I'll slip stitch to the first single crochet. But when I finish the hood, I'll show you when I finish, when I'm finishing the hood, how to fasten that off and everything. So I'm just going to do this um, little slit area, this hole, and then the other hole, and then the hood. And I'll meet you up when I'm finished, or finishing up with the hood. I'll show you how to fasten off. All right, I just uh, single crocheted around those two slits and now I'm finishing, I'm finishing the hood. So I'm gonna slip stitch into this next stitch here. To fasten off, we need to chain one and then cut our yarn and we're gonna continue to pull that through that chain one there. And then we're going to grab our yarn needle, there it is and we're going to sew in that end. So I did that same exact thing for both slits on the front of the poncho. I just fastened off and then sewed in my ends, just like this, underneath a few of those stitches, and then pulled through. Okay, and there's also this end too from before when we were making the hood, so may as well just sew that one in as well. So just going underneath these stitches, hiding that, and then it's safe to cut. So be careful with your scissors. We're just going to cut those, stretch it out, so those are completely hidden. So there's my hood. Okay, it's all nice and clean along that edge there. 
looking good and then the front slits as well here they're all nice and clean very nice uh, with a single crochet around both of those so now let's do the very bottom of our poncho just to clean up the edge with the white uh, if you want to use the same color or a different color or if you want to completely eliminate this step you can just go on to making the pockets but what i'm going to do is start in any stitch i'm going to turn this upside down okay i just want to do one round of white in double crochet you can start in any stitch you want i'm going to start in the back here Put, hook on the soft white, that's Red Heart Super Saver soft white, and we're going to chain two, but again that chain up two doesn't count as anything. We're going to double crochet into that same stitch, just like that, and double crochet into each stitch around. So this is just a little edging here of white, I'm just going to, just a little detail here. So I'm just going to double crochet around this and then when I'm about to fasten this part off uh, we'll go on to making the pocket next. Alright, let's just slip stitch to the first double crochet of this round right here. Yarn over, pull through and through. And if you want to do another round you can just chain two and double crochet in each stitch to make this a little bit thicker. But I'm going to fasten this off. I already cut my yarn so I'm just going to chain one and then pull that all the way through and pull it tight. And then I'm going to grab that yarn needle and sew in my end here okay and then we can go on to make the pockets next I'm just going to show you how to make one pocket and then you can make the other pocket exactly the same so I just sew this in back and forth all right so grab your um, your oatmeal yarn, the, the main color yarn, and your paw print yarn here. So I'm using the oatmeal color for my main color, for my pocket color, and then chocolate brown here, or is this coffee actually? Chocolate brown, but it's called coffee. We're using that for the paw print. So let's set this poncho aside and make this accessory. Grab your crochet hook and your yarn here. All right, we're done using white. So now let's make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold this down and pull this through and pull tight, insert your hook. And for the pocket, we are going to chain 17. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And now in the fourth chain from the hook, we are going to double crochet. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so count one, two, three, and four. In this chain here, we're going to yarn over. I'm going to turn the chain toward me and I'm going to work in this back ridge here and I'm going to go in to that back ridge, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. And then we're just going to double crochet into each chain across this thing here. So we should have 15 stitches in total because this beginning here, this looks like a stitch right here. We are going to count that as a stitch. You see one, two, three. That is counted as a stitch. So we should have 15 stitches including that one at the end of this row. So I'm just going to double crochet in each chain and then I will meet you up for row two. All right, so I just double crocheted across here. So this is what row one should look like. So to see how big your pocket should be, make sure that your hand fits uh, in across it, I guess. It fits across your hand nicely. That way you can stick your hand in the pocket and it will fit. So that's how I measured basically how big I want this. So if you want smaller pockets easily, you can just chain 
a smaller amount in that beginning there. But going on to rows two through seven, we are going to chain up three, which counts as a stitch, turn the work around, skip working in this first stitch because this chain up three is worked in there basically. So start working in this stitch here and we are going to yarn over, oopsie, there we go, yarn over, go into that stitch and double crochet and we're going to double crochet across and then chain up three, turn the work and double crochet across. And we're gonna do that for rows two through seven. So I'm just gonna do that and then once I finish round or row seven, I'll meet you up because we are going to crochet around part of this piece. So I'll show you what to do next uh, when I finish row seven. Alright, finishing row 7, just remember this chain up 3 counts as a stitch at the end of each row. So make sure you do work in that chain up 3 there for your last stitch. And just make sure every stitch or every row has 15 stitches. So this is what your piece should look like now. Just a basic square style. I can actually measure this out. If you want deeper pockets, continue with the rows. Um, but this is about four and a half inches by four and a half inches, which is about, I don't know, 10 or 11 centimeters by 11 or 12 centimeters or so. So that's how big this little pocket is. So it's it's quite small actually. <laughs> so now I want to continue though to work. Okay, so we're gonna actually work along this edge here and then the bottom edge here and then up this side here. But we're not gonna work across the top. So what I'm going to do now is chain one. Okay, I'm turning this like this. So it's working the sideways here and we're going to single crochet. So go in where your hook fits yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, okay? And we're gonna do that down this side. Just basically wherever your hook fits, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, okay? And I'm doing this all the way down the side. Now I continually, or I want you to continue to watch me go all the way down this side of this pocket because I want you to see what I'm going to do in the corner because I'm not actually going to make a square corner. It's going to be more of a rounded corner. Now if you want a square corner, make sure to put three stitches in the corner, three single crochets in the corner. Uh, but if you want a rounded corner, you can do exactly what I'm going to do right here. So we're going to single crochet and then single crochet here. So now we're in the corner. Well, after this one. Okay, so I'm in the corner here. This is the corner stitch. We are going to put one single crochet in there. Okay, that's going to round out the corner. We're gonna hop to this stitch right here. This is on our foundation row. I am going to single crochet over the top of this loose end as well. Okay, so I basically just rounded the corner just by single crocheting once in the corner. If you single crochet three times in the corner, or even two times, it sharpens the corner to make it more square. But if you see here, it kind of rounded it out here just by putting one stitch in there, which is what I want for my pocket. I want a rounded bottom. So then I'm just going to single crochet along the bottom edge here and then when I get to the next corner, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just putting one single crochet in there and then I'm gonna work a single crochet wherever it fits up the side. Okay, so I'm at this next corner here. You can see it's basically a three chain here. So I'm just gonna put one stitch in this chain here. Okay, then one st uh, stitch in this chain here and then one stitch up this chain right here. Okay, and now I'm working up the side. So I'm just gonna finish single crocheting up this side and then I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten this part off. All right, just making my last stitch at the top of this pocket. Like I said though, we're not gonna work across the top row here. So I'm just gonna fasten off at this point. So I'm gonna chain one. We want to cut our yarn quite long for sewing. So we're gonna cut this 
a little longer and we're going to pull this chain or this through that chain one sorry this straggler here there we go through that chain one and then pull it tight and there is a pocket. Now, if you want to have just plain pockets, you can just make another one of these and sew this directly onto your poncho, just like this. Just sew around this side here, leaving this top open so you can have it as a pocket. But I'm gonna make a paw print and put this, put that on here before I sew this onto the poncho. So I'm gonna set this aside and grab that coffee brown color. And I'm going to grab my crochet hook and we are going to make the paw. So the main part of the paw, the bigger circle part, I'm going to show you first. So we're going to make a slip knot. Okay, I've shown you how to do that before. And we're going to insert our hook and we're going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in that second chain from the hook right here, we're going to put six single crochets. So go into that chain, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's one. Go back in for two. Here's three in that same chain and four. You can see I'm kind of working in a circular form here. Five and six. Now we are going to be working in a continuous circle, continuous round. So I'm going to grab my stitch marker here, just that extra piece of yarn. And I'm going to stick it right in here so I know that's where my round starts. And for this next round, round two, oh, also we're going to be working in the back loops only. So usually we work through both loops. Okay, both loops, both loops. The loop that's furthest away from you right here is the back loop. Okay, back loop, back loop, back loop. The loop that's in the front here is the front loop. Okay, that one that's closest to you, those are the front loops. So we're gonna work in the back loops only for this uh, little paw here. So in this, net, in this stitch right here, this first stitch, we're going to be working in a continuous round. That's why I have this stitch marker here. We're gonna put two single crochets in each stitch around. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again, go back in to that back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And hop to the next stitch and put two single crochets in that back loop as well and in each stitch around. At the end of round two, we are going to have 12 single crochets in total because we put two in each stitch. And I'm almost done here. So I can show you, we can go on to round three. Let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We can move our stitch marker up and go on to round three. Round three says to put two single crochets in the next stitch, so one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch, one. And then just repeat that around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. Then two single crochets in the next, and one in the next. And at the end of round three, we will have 18 single crochets. And I'm almost done with this round too, so I'll show you at the end of this round. I just have one repeat left. One, two, and then one. Awesome. So now I have 18 single crochets around. Going on to the next round, I'm gonna move my stitch marker up and we are going to put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And remember, back loops only, so one and one. And then just repeat that around. So two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. One and one. Okay, so two in the next and then one in the next two. And at the end of round uh, four here, we'll have 24 single crochets. So I'm halfway there. I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten this piece off. 
All right, so now I'm back to the beginning here. This is what your piece should look like, just a big circle. We can remove our stitch marker. We are going to fasten this off. So we are going to slip stitch in this next stitch. We can go under both loops, the front and back loop if you wish. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through to slip stitch. And then to fasten off, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna cut our yarn quite long for sewing. And we're going to pull that all the way through and pull tight. So that is what this part looks like. So on this pocket, this will be about right there. Okay, and now we just have to make four toes to go on here as well to make it actually look like a paw. So easy, we are just going to make round one of what we just made, of that little circle we just made. So make a slip knot. Put your short end over that long end, fold this down, pull that through, pull tight. If it's easier for you to do a magic ring, you can do that as well, um, which might be a little easier for these little paw toes here. We're going to chain two, one and two, and just put six single crochets in that second chain from the hook. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, two, three four, five, and six. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. So right in here, go under both loops, front and back, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And then to fasten this off, we're gonna chain one, cut the yarn kind of long, a little short, because it's not that big of a piece, but pull that all the way through, and then pull it tight. Okay, for me, since I did chain two, you can kind of see there is a hole in the center there. So what I'm going to do is take my straggler from the beginning when I made my uh, slip knot. I'm going to yarn my needle with that little uh, strand of yarn. And then I'm going to sew uh, at the base of the stitches on round one. I'm just gonna go underneath those and pull tight and there you go, it closes that center hole very nicely. So now I just need you to make three more of these exactly the same. I already have those finished off camera here. So I just made those. And so now we want to sew these all onto our pocket. So make sure you have your pocket here and you have the bottom edges, those rounded edges are at the bottom, okay? And we're gonna center this piece onto our pocket, right about there, okay? And we're gonna just sew on these appliques now. So I'll just show you how to sew this piece on and then you can sew on the rest um, just by using the photo or um, this video to sh uh, as a guide on the positioning of where to put those. I have one pocket done already. So you can see here, this is how it's going to look. So you can sew down this, sew down each of these, and on the inside, I have this. So I'll show you how to sew this piece down. So what I do is I yarn my needle with that long strand that we cut. I lay this down here, just like this. You can even hold it in your hand and just go in to the pocket, okay? And then come back through and out the stitches. And we're gonna go through each stitch. You can go through each stitch or skip a stitch in between. Totally creator's choice, but just make sure you go back and forth sewing this piece on. You can even sew it on like this if you want to. Okay, and then I'll just show you this whole piece here. So bear with me. I mean, you can manipulate this however you need to, to be able to get these stitches on. See how I'm turning it so much. And make sure you're sewing on it on as round as you can get it. Okay, then when you're about to fasten this off, Make sure you stretch it out there, awesome. Then you wanna end it on the inside here. Let me get through here. 
Okay, end it on the inside of the pocket, like this. And then we're going to go underneath a few stitches, just like this. And I'm going to hold my finger in this loop, come back around, and pull it through, and pull it tight. And you can do that once or twice or even three times. And then to sew this in, we're just going to go between the two layers. So between the pocket and that circle for the paw, I'm just pulling this through between the two layers because you won't see it at all. And then I'm just going to cut this short. And there it is. Awesome! So that is sewn on. So now I'm just going to sew this, uh, these other pieces on. Just what I'll do is I'll show you this one here. So I'm going to take that center straggler from the center here and we're going to pull it through with our hook. We're just going to pull it through. And then we're going to sew this on right about here. Okay, I can show you one of the toes, I guess. It's not that um, difficult, but we aren't really sewing in the ends. I kind of just tie knots and trim them because it's on the inside of the pocket, so nobody's going to see that. But I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go in and out. In and out, in and out, and then back in. Okay, so we want to end on the inside of the pocket. Okay, just make sure it's like circular and it looks good. And then what I usually do, or what I've been doing, is tying these two strands in a knot. And I tie them in like two or three knots. Mostly like three. Okay, and then pull really tight, just like that. And then what I did was cut this super short. Like right about there. And that's all I did. Okay, so that's secure. And on the other side, it looks fabulous. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew on those other three around here. And then I'll meet you up when my pockets are all done. Alright, once you have your little pieces sewn onto your pockets, we want to sew these onto our poncho. So line these up next to or near those slits. So below them. And if you want to do them straight up and down, you can. If you want to do them on an angle, you can. Just make sure that the openings would then come uh, near to these slits because your arms are going to come out of here and want to go into the pockets. So I'm going to measure mine probably right around here, maybe further away from each other, like that, and lower. Okay. And then all we're going to do is just take that long strand that we cut when we made the pocket, okay? And we're just going to go in to the poncho, but I'm gonna put my hand inside of the poncho so I don't go through both layers. And we're just gonna go in and pull that all the way through. Okay, and then we're gonna come back out the next stitch, okay? And if you want to, like I showed you earlier with that other applique, you can just go through like this and then come back out through a few stitches. Okay, and all you want to do is just sew on this side, this bottom edge here, and this side up. You want to leave this top open so you can actually stick your hand in there. So, because if you sewed that closed, then there would be no reason for it to be a pocket anymore. So just sew this on just like uh, how we sewed on 
those other pieces just on those three sides. When I'm about to fasten this part off, I'll meet you up and I'll show you how to do that. Um, actually, I'm gonna finish doing this one and then I'll show you how to fasten off that other pocket. All right, so I'm just finishing up sewing on my second pocket here. So now we just want to uh, fasten this off. So what I'm going to do is just go through my last stitch and go inside of the poncho. And then we're going to tie this off inside here. So I'm going to go underneath a couple of stitches. Okay, hold my finger in that loop, come back through that loop, and then pull tight. Okay, and like I said earlier, you can do this two or three times. And then we actually need to sew this in underneath some of the stitches. We don't want to put it between the two layers because that will be like then in the inside of the pocket. So we have to go underneath the stitches here and sew in this end. There we go. All right, then we can cut the extra and that's the other pocket. So I sewed on both of these pockets like so. So you can see here they work like a pocket. Looks good. Awesome. So now let's go on to making the accessories for the hood. So let's look at our hood here. What we want to do is lay this out kind of like this. Okay, so uh, kind of just pull this down forward to where you start to see that point there. Okay, so this is our kind of working tablet here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make ears. You kind of want to just um, like kind of measure out, eyeball it where you want your ears to go. And then the top stripes here and then our eyes will be right um, a little bit lower than our ears and then we'll embroider the mouth and the nose okay so we want to start off by making the ears so i'm going to set my poncho aside and we'll go on to making those so grab your hook I'm going to make my ears in coffee, but you can make them in any color you want. You can go with your main color as well, but um, I'm kind of running out of my main color, so <laughs> I'm going to use this dark brown here. We're going to make a slip knot. I've shown you how to do that a few times already in this video. So now we are going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put six single crochets. So go into that second chain, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's one. Here's two, three, whoopsie, here's four. five and six all right now I'm going to need to grab my stitch marker here because I'm going to put my extra piece of yarn this um, stitch marker that I have in this part right here because I'm going to mark my rounds and Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my first stitch here. Just like how we did with the paw, I'm going to be working in the back loops only. So right in here, I'm gonna go into this next stitch. For round two, we want to put one single crochet in each stitch around for, again, a same total of six single crochets. So I'm just going in the back loops of each stitch and putting one single crochet. And it will get tight, it'll kinda bowl up a little bit. That's exactly what we want. All right, and then you should have the same amount of stitches, six stitches around, okay? So if you want to just position this, kind of manipulate it to go to a point, that's how it should look right now. We're going to increase for round three, so move that stitch marker up 
We are going to put two single crochet into each stitch around and again back loops only. So go into the back loop of this next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one and two. Okay, hop to the next stitch and put two single crochets in that back loop, one and two. Okay, hop to the next and put two in there. So you should have, like I said though, 12 stitches at the end of round three. And I'm almost there, so you can just continue watching. For round four, we are not increasing. We are just putting one single crochet in each stitch around for a total, again, of 12 single crochets. So move that stitch marker up. Okay, and just put one single crochet in each stitch. So I'm just going to do that. You should have 12 stitches at the end of round four, and then I'll meet you up when we increase for round five. All right, going on to round five, I'm moving my stitch marker up, and we are going to increase. We're going to put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. So at the end of round five, we should have 18 single crochets. And I'm almost there, I'm working a little bit faster here. So two in this one, and then one in the next. And I'm working in the back loops there, back loops only. One and two and then one. Then for round six, we are not increasing. We're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around, so repeating round four there. Just putting one single crochet in each stitch for us, us uh, how many stitches is that? 18. <laughs> So let's uh, have 18 stitches at the end of round six here. As you can see I moved my stitch marker up and putting one single crochet in each stitch. I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round seven. All right, moving my stitch marker up, going on to round seven, we are going to increase. Let's put two single crochets in this next stitch, back loop there, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches just like that. And then repeat that around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So at the end of round seven, we will have 24 single crochets. And you can just continue watching me on this round because I am halfway there. We're putting two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next two stitches and repeating that. One, two, one, and one. Okay, last repeat here. Two stitches, two in the same stitch and then one in the next two. And then for rounds eight and nine, so the next two rounds now, we are going to move our stitch marker up and just put one single crochet in each stitch around for 24 stitches. So that's for rounds eight and round nine, just putting one single crochet in each stitch. After round nine, we will fasten off, so I'll meet you up at that point. All right, just finishing round nine here. Now we want to fasten off, so let's go underneath both loops of this next stitch, so front and back yarn over and pull through and pull through that loop on your hook for a slip stitch and then we're going to fasten off by chaining up one and we're going to cut our yarn uh, kind of long for sewing and then pull that all the way through that chain one there and then pull tight and that fastens it off we can remove our stitch marker and we have a cute little cat ear so now I just need you to rewind this part and make one more of these so you have two ears in total. So this is what your ears should look like, identical. Okay, looking good. Awesome. Once you have those two, let's sew them onto our hood. So grab your poncho 
Okay, and like I said, I folded it, my hood down like this, and I'm going to put them about right here, right at the top, okay, more toward the back, so that they kind of fall this way. And then the face will be about right here, okay? So to sew these on, we are going to take our yarn needle, yarn our needle with that long strand that we cut at the end when we fastened off, we're going to position this a little bit over here. I might have to go over the back side just a little bit. Okay, so about right here for this one. Okay, and then we're just going to go into the hood and then around. I'm just going to whip stitch this just like that. Okay. And if you want to, you can sew this, whip stitch it with this pulling forward. That way when you put the hood on, it will stand up. So I might do that actually. I'm going to position this toward the back. Okay, so I'm going to pull my strand of yarn through the back. If you need to, manipulate your piece the way you want it so you can see all your stitches. So I'm turning this upside down now. And we're going to go through a few of the stitches, okay, both layers of stitches, so this layer and that layer. And then we're going to go through the hood, but remember to, you know, if you need to, put your hand inside the hood so you don't sew the hood closed. Guide your needle through a few stitches, and then pull. Okay, so I'm just whip stitching this. If you want to, you can go back and forth, you know, however you really want to sew this on. You can do it how you feel comfortable. But this is how I'm doing it. I'm just going to go back and around and around this piece, just whip stitching it. Okay, so when I put my hood on, then this is going to stand straight up like this. Okay, so I recommend uh, folding it forward and sewing it on like this. So I'm just going to do that all the way across here. Once I have my other ear on and ready to fasten off, I'll show you how to how I fasten off both ears and then we'll go on to making the next piece for the hood. Alright, I'm just sewing on this other ear here and I'm going to fasten off. So you just want to go through those last stitches. Keep your finger in that loop and then come back through that loop. Okay. That's the same way I showed you how to fasten off all the other pieces, the pockets and whatnot. So now let's go, you can do two or three times if you want to. It's sick here. But um, then once you are done sewing that on, you can go into between the layers of the ear, inside of the ear. Just hide that end. Just like that and then cut any extra and then stretch it out just like that okay and now both ears are secure on our hood so if you want to turn it around you can see that they are standing straight up and they look fabulous awesome so now let's go on if you need to you know you can position this cute you can just have it just like that and have just ears on your hood. But I want to make a little face here. So let's go on to make the eyes. So I'm going to set this aside. Oopsie, just dropped my scissors. <laughs> Be careful with your scissors. Okay, so let's grab the dark brown. You can make your eyes whatever color you want. We're going to make a slip knot. And we are going to basically repeat rounds one and two of the paw, of the palm part of the paw. So let's chain two one and two and put six single crochets in that second chain from the hook one here's two three four five and six and then we're going to work in a continuous round and we are going to 
um, go under both loops this time. I know in the paw I worked in the back loops, but I'm just going to go under both loops here, just like this. And for round two, we're putting two single crochets in each stitch around. Oh, and I didn't even put my stitch marker in there, so I hope you... Uh, if you need to, you can put a stitch marker in there, but we're just putting two single crochets in each stitch around, and there's only six stitches around, so uh, just count up to 12 stitches you should have at the end of round two. Well, there's six, here's seven and eight, nine and ten, okay, and my last stitch here, 11 and 12 and then after round two here we're gonna fasten off so let's go into the next stitch right here slip stitch so yarn over pull through and through and then chain up one we're gonna cut our yarn long let me grab my scissors that I dropped there we go cut your yarn long and pull it through that chain up one there and pull tight and if yours uh, has that same inner circle there that is um, uh, big hole in the gaping area there. We're going to take that little strand in the center and we're going to sew at the base of our stitches in round one. Okay, I'm just sewing around so it closes that center. I know I showed you that for the paw as well, so that closes that. So there's the eye, and then what we want to do is just put a little extra detail in there. So I'm going to grab my white yarn. I'm just cutting a small strand of that, and I'm going to yarn my needle with it. Okay, and then I'm going to make a little detail in there. So I'm going to go in th uh, out round one here from the back and then go out round two. Okay, and then I'm gonna come and do it one more time. Just like that. And it's kind of a little tick, just an extra detail for the eye. And then I'm going to tie this in a knot in the back. And then I'm gonna cut this these little strands very short just like that okay so what I need you to do is just rewind this and make one more eye exactly the same so you have two eyes just like this awesome those are so cute so now I'm going to sew these onto my hood so grab that hood back if you want to you can collect all the pieces and then sew everything on at the same time but I might as well just do it as I go. So now we're going to position this so that it is center and everything looks good. Okay, and I want my eyes to be about right here. Okay, so about right here and right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna sew these on just like this. I might turn this one just a little bit, just like that. So I'm going to sew these on just like this, exactly how we sewed on the paws to the pockets. Um, so I'm just going to go in and out and then fasten these off. So I showed you how to do the paws for the pockets, so I'm just going to do the same concept with these eyes. So once I have these eyes all sewn on and ready to go, we'll make the next uh, piece for the hood. All right, so I just sewed on those eyes, and I did end up sewing in the ends. I know on the paws, I just tied a knot and cut them really short, but I sewed them in between the two layers, the hood and the eye, so I just sewed in and then cut the yarn short, and so that is what they look like. So now our face is coming together really nicely, so now we just have to do a hard part of embroidering. <laughs> so I'm going to embroider um, a mouth like this, and then a nose in pink, and um, what we're going to do is I'm going to embroider the mouth in brown and then the nose, like I said, in pink. So I'm going to take my yarn needle and yarn it with some brown yarn. And now this is more of um, a good luck and I hope you succeed in making this shape because I'm very bad at embroidery. 
<laughs> but I'm gonna try my best. So we're just gonna go in and out, kind of, I guess, a wide mouth here. Okay, we're gonna pull through a lot of yarn. Okay, and we're going to start by making a shape that's going to, it's kind of hard to show you, we're gonna go like this, okay? And then we're gonna come back around through to do this, uh, to finish off everything. So I'll show you um, somewhat. I'll try to show you as best as I can. So I'm gonna go back in and then out. Okay, and then there's going to be a small gap right here and right here so that's why we're going to come back through and fill in those gaps so now i'm just going to come through here and through here okay and we're at the center here so we're just going to come up the center and then stop where we want our nose to start. I'm gonna go a little bit more here. Okay, and then we're gonna come back down. So we're gonna go into this brown here. Okay, so we're gonna fill this gap of color. Okay, and I'm gonna go all the way through. Okay, so that closed that gap that looks like it's connected as one and then we're going to come out through this brown here from the inside and you want to make sure you get through the ply of the yarn so that it, it looks like it's connected so right through it there we go oopsie let's see it takes talent to do this there we go <laughs> so we go through that yarn come back through Okay, and then I'm going to go down to this brown right here, but I'm going to go to the opposite side. So, and then we want to make sure that we line up our stitches with the other side here, right about there. I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so that's connected there. Awesome. And then we're just going to come back up through about, let's see here, one, two, three, one, two, three, right here. Sorry if my hands and arms get in the way, but there we go. And across here, it's about right here. Okay, so then we can come back down through the brown yarn. And then just connect the lines, basically. It's like playing like connect the dots with yarn. Just make sure you get through the yarn there. Okay, back to the center here. And finishing up these last two spots. That wasn't so bad. And I did a really fast job. So you can take your time and go through and embroider how you want, making sure that your mouth is even and looks good. I know I've had to, you know, I've embroidered and then taken it apart and embroidered again just to make sure that it looked satisfying to what I like so you can do the same thing okay last one here there we go all right so then you can lay that down make sure that it looks so funny <laughs> oh my gosh this is looking so good okay so now we want to cut our yarn kind of short Okay, and then we're going to tie these two in a knot on the inside here. And then we're going to take our yarn needle 
and yarn our needle with those two stragglers and we've got to sew these in but we want to sew them in behind everything so that we don't see them through the hood so I'll show you how to do that so we're gonna go through this yarn this brown strand in here and we're gonna go through just a slight layer between the yarn strand Okay, just like that and it doesn't even have to be a whole lot so that's enough for me so I'm just gonna trim the yarn right about there stretch it out oh, I might need to trim it just a hair shorter be careful with your scissors there we go and that's our mouth <laughs> it looks so fabulous oh my gosh how fun so now we just have to embroider the nose and we are going to use pink for that so I'm just going to do a little triangle here with the pink so let's yarn our needle with the pink and just like how I showed you with the nose here I guess I have to look online here how to make the nose all right so the nose is an upside down triangle so we're gonna start at the mouth or at this top part of this mouth here right there okay and you can even go into the brown if you want to right there and then we're gonna make a triangle shape so I'm gonna come diagonally and you can make your nose big or small. So I'm just going to make it a few stitches, just kind of smaller. Okay. And then we're just going to come back through that center. And that's going to be our point. So we're just going to then continue to trail this along here. If you want to come back, come to this side as well. You can come to this side. and go in okay so now you have your kind of shape that you want it to be so now we're just going to go around and around and I may not have pulled enough yarn through so I may have to start with the other strand and that's okay but you don't want any gaps. See, there's a gap right there. So I want to cover that gap. So I'm just going to go back through there and cover it. Okay. And the nose is a little bit more tricky because you're just going in circles, basically. Yep. So I'm just going to continue going in circles, I guess. So you don't really even have to watch this. So I'm going to I'm just going to embroider the nose and then once I'm satisfied with the shape of the nose, um then I will meet you up at that point. All right. So to be honest, I did end up taking that one apart after the camera cut <laughs> and I redid it. So this is what the nose should sort of look like, but we do want to end on the inside of our hood. So we have to go through one more time, which I'm going to go right in here. Okay, and we're just going to go through to the inside. Make sure it looks good on the front. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to cut these two strands short and then tie them in a knot. Okay, and then we're going to take our yarn needle and yarn our needle with those two strands. There we go. And then we're going to go behind those strands that we embroidered. And that's a little tough, but once you get through, just pull should be easier there we go okay and then we can just cut just be careful with your scissors there we go 
and there is our cute little face oh my gosh that's so adorable so now if you want to you can add whiskers if you want to I'm gonna add some stripes here on the top so uh, let's set this poncho aside grab your crochet hook and I'm gonna do some uh, dark brown stripes on the top here so I'm going to make a slip knot this is gonna be super simple I'm gonna chain 17 Okay, so I'm just going to chain real fast here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, we are going to double crochet. So count one, two, three, and four. This chain right here, I'm going to turn the chain toward me and I'm going to yarn over and go into that chain in that back ridge. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then yarn over and go into the next chain and we're going to double crochet across this chain. And we're just making this piece. And then um, once I get to the very end there, I will meet you up, we'll fasten this off and sew this to our hood. All right, just finishing this piece here. And then we are going to fasten this off. So let's chain one. We're going to cut our yarn kind of long to use that for sewing. And we're going to pull it all the way through just like I showed you in the other pieces when we fasten off just like that. So now what I need you to do is if you need to rewind this and make one identical to this because we're going to put two stripes on the uh, hood here. So we have two of these. Once you have two of these made, we're going to grab our uh, poncho here. Grab the hood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half, okay, where the seam is down the center here, okay, and we're going to sew these on each side at the top. So what we're going to do is line this up with the back here, okay, right there, and I'm going to come closer to the ear, I think. So right about here. All right, and I gotta find my yarn needle. We need to sew this. Where did all my yarn supplies go? Okay, so, wow, I cut this one way too long. Let me cut this strand shorter. Okay, we want to yarn our needle, and this isn't the right needle. Okay, sorry guys. Let's use this needle. Okay, yarn your needle. Then we're going to go in with one hand into the hood. Okay, it's going to kind of be a little awkward, but we're going to go into the hood, making sure not to sew the hood closed going through the stitch and then through this piece and just pulling okay and then we're just going to go through each stitch okay and we're just going to sew this piece on back and forth just make sure that you don't sew your hood closed because then that would be uh, not a good thing so just going in and out there and through this and pinning it down and then I'm going to go all the way around this piece up this side here and then around to this side here and we're going to end here and then we're going to tie those two in a knot so I'm going to do that for both of them and when I'm about to fasten off my second one because we're just going to flip this over and we're going to sew the other one on this opposite side right here. Okay, right like this. Okay, so once I have this one sewn on and I'm about to fasten this one off, I'll meet you up, I'll show you how I fasten off, and then we will go on to making the next piece. All right, I have both of the stripes sewn down. I'm gonna fasten this one off here. So I'm gonna go to the inside of the hood, okay? I'm also going to 
take this strand here, I'm going to go into the hood, and I'm going to pull that also through. Like that. And then I'm going to go into the hood. Okay, I'm going to cut this strand shorter, tie these two in a knot. Okay, you can tie it twice or three times. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my hook underneath the two layers, so between the two layers here, going in this layer, but you can't see my hook through this layer. Well, you can if I go like that, but going in between the two layers, I'm going to hook on these two strands and pull them through. And if you have any extra, you can just trim it and then stretch it out. Make sure those are completely hidden. Check out the outside. Looks great. So there you have two stripes on your cat face. How cute is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Okay, so obviously all these pieces are super optional. You don't have to do all of these pieces if you don't want to. You know, you can just have a plain hood with just the two ears on it if you want. So those are all optional. So there is our face. Now, one more thing I do want to do. Well, there's a couple things I do want to do, but I want to make stripes on the back of our poncho. And if you see here, I already put two on there. And what I need you to do is rewind this to where I was making these stripes here, okay? We are going to make the same exact thing, just chaining more. So we're going to, for these back stripes, we're going to chain 47, okay? So on this one here, we chained 17. We're just going to chain 30 more. We're going to chain 47, so I'm going to make that slip knot. Okay, I'm not going to really show you how to do this here, but I'm going to chain 47 and then we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and across. So exactly like how we did the stripes on the hood, just chaining more. And then I'll meet you up, I'm just going to make this one off camera here, but I'll meet you up when I have this stripe done. We'll fasten it off and we'll sew these to our poncho. Alright, so to fasten off, I usually just chain that one and I cut my yarn really long, pulling that all the way through. So this is super simple here. We're doing it exactly how we did the stripes on the hood. So I need you to make three of these in total and then we're going to line them up in the back here. So let's get our poncho all laid out nicely, centered. And you can kind of see that center seam down here and then it ended over here. So then you want to make sure you want to make sure you have 3 stripes. You can do 5 or 7, however many stripes you want. It really doesn't matter. So you can make um, I'm doing 3 here. So I made this one and this one already sewed them on. So I um, put my hood down here, pulled it back to see so that I want to make sure that you can see this stripe, so where the, the hood ends is where your first stripes should go. Then we're going to skip 8 rows. You can skip 5 rows, 7 rows, it doesn't really matter how many rows you skip, but just make sure you count in between how many rows you skipped so that they are all even, because I skipped 8 rows in between here to sew on my second one. So I'm going to skip eight more rows here and I'm going to sew on my third one. Now you want to make sure that they do line up. So if you want to, you can fold this in half, find your center point, and then kind of trail down here. Make sure that your center is in the center, which it is. So I'm going to eyeball that and then I'm going to sew this one down exactly how we sewed down the um, stripes on the hood. Okay, so I'm just going to take my yarn needle, go back and forth. I'm going to go all the way around. So I'm going to go from here all the way across this top row. Then I'm going to come back around and sew the bottom all the way. And we're going to end over here. Okay, then I'll meet you up when I'm about to fasten off. All right, so I just sewed this on here, and we are just fastening off the same way we did the stripe on the hood. So I just pulled them through to the other side on the inside here, just tying three knots 
and then I'm going to take my crochet hook between the layers there and then pull that through pull those two stripes or those two uh, strands through here just to hide them and then there it is awesome now um, the next part is completely optional if you don't want a tail you don't need to put a tail on we're gonna sew a button down here right in the center so let's line this up with the center okay and then right below this stripe here I'm gonna sew on this button okay because the button is where the um, where the tail is going to attach to. So just going through from the back to the front and then through each button hole. Okay, I just have this like little plastic button here. You could use like a regular a wood button. You can use any type of button you want. And just going through each hole and then coming through the back. Okay, I'm going to cut this short so that I can tie some knots. Again, three knots, triple knot this. Okay, and then for this one, I'm just going to cut these strands a little short. Okay, just like that. You can sew them in if you want to, but just to have that button secure on there. And now I'm going to make the tail that we will attach here. That is optional and it will be a removable tail so that you can just have the button here and that's it. Or you can button on a tail. So let's set this aside and grab our main color, sorry. <laughs> grab our main color here and we're gonna start by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold this down, pull this through, and pull tight. Insert your hook, chain two, one and two, and we're gonna put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So go into this chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So there's one, here's two, Here's three, here's four, five, and six. Okay, I am going to grab a stitch marker, just a strand of yarn here, to mark my rounds. We are going to work in the back loops only. And for round two, we're going to increase by putting two single crochets in that back loop there for each stitch around. So go into the back loop of this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one and two. Then hop to the next stitch, back loop, one and two. Okay, next stitch, one and two, and in each stitch around. So very similar to rounds one and two of the paw or rounds one and two of the eye. Okay, last stitch here. So now you should have 12 single crochets around. I'm going to move my stitch marker up. We're going to increase one more time here. So then we're going to put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two back loops only. And then the next stitch is only going to get one single crochet. And then we're just going to repeat that around. So two in the next stitch, and then one in the next. Okay, then two in the next, and then one in the next. Okay, almost done. You should have 18 single crochets at the end of round three. And I have two more increases here. One two and three awesome so now we're done increasing so I'm going to move my stitch marker up all right and for the next five rounds that's rounds four five six seven and eight 
next five rounds till round eight we are just putting one single crochet in each stitch around now when I'm finishing round eight when I'm on the last stitch actually the stitch before the last stitch I'm gonna meet you up uh, because we're going to change color and I'll show you how to do that we're gonna make this tail striped so once I finish round eight I'll meet you up and we'll make uh, we'll change color all right, so I did rounds four, five, six, seven, and eight here. I am on the last stitch here. So you can see I just need to make that one more stitch. But when you're on their very last stitch of round eight, what we're going to do is go into the stitch and yarn over and pull through. But we're not going to finish this stitch. We're going to change color for the next round. So for round nine, let me grab my chocolate brown or this coffee color here we're going to yarn over with that and pull it through but see how that like kind of loosened everything up so what we want to do now is pull everything tight okay I'm going to leave this oatmeal color in there I'm not going to fasten that off we are going to just continue now for the next five rounds so rounds 9 10 11 12 and 13 with this chocolate brown color and so we're just going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch around okay no increases or decreases just making five rounds of this chocolate color when i am finishing what is it round 13 I'll meet you up because I'll show you again we're gonna go back to using the oatmeal color but like I said I'm not fastening that color off so I'm just gonna trail that up to that row and then we'll start with that so I'll show you how to get how to do it when I get there so I'm gonna do rounds uh, 9 9 10 11 12 and 13 so the next five rounds in just one single crochet in each stitch so I'll meet you up when I finish round 13 all right, I'm on my last stitch of round 13 here. We're going to go into that back loop, yarn over with this dark brown color, and then I want to change color going on to round 14 here with this oatmeal. And remember, I didn't fasten that off earlier. So what I'm going to do is drop this chocolate brown color over to that side, pick up this oatmeal color that's uh, pulling through the inside of this piece here, yarn over with that, and pull it through those two stitches or two loops to finish off this stitch okay it's just like that I'm pulling the chocolate color the the coffee I'm pulling that tighter because I don't want this to slip close or open here and then we're just going to continue now for the next five rounds until you know we're going to change color then every five rounds until this tail is as long as we want it to be. So that's totally up to you, however many stripes you want to do. So I'll let you go and do your own thing, but um, every five rounds, just change color. So that's how you change color. So then when we finish, let's see, we're going on to round 14. So 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 will be with the oatmeal color. And then rounds, um, let's see, what was that, 18? <laughs> So then rounds 19 through 24 will be the coffee color and we'll just change color every five rounds just doing that method and we can just trail that up then on the inside you can see we just trailed that up so then when we get to round 18 we'll just trail this coffee color up to that round okay. So we'll just do this for however many rounds uh, you want to do. I think I'll do a total of five sections uh, total. So there's one here, two, I'm on my third section, then four and five. Once I finish my fifth section, then I'll meet you up. We'll close the end and we will make a buttonhole. Um, but before we close it, we have to stuff this slightly. So I'll show you what to do when I finish my fifth section. Alright, so I'm just finishing my fifth section here. So this got me to round 28 here. So I'm going to fasten this part, or actually we're not going to fasten off anything. We're just going to hold this open here. I'm just going to pull that loop. We're going to have to fasten off this dark brown here because that's on the inside there. So what I'm going to do is just cut that 
and then if you want to pull this inside out here and we're going to wrap it around this strand okay it's secure so it doesn't really matter but just for peace of mind I'm just gonna wrap it around this okay and then you could just shove that inside because no one's gonna see it okay so this is what it should look like so uh, I did kind of mess up on the numbers here so rounds 1 through 8 are this light tan oatmeal color 9 through 13 are the coffee color then 14 to 18 are the tan, light tan, um, the oatmeal. Then 19 to 23 is this coffee color. And then the last five rounds, 24 to 28, are this light tan color. So now what we're going to do actually is I'm going to fold this in half here. Actually, we're going to stuff this. So if you want to, it's optional to stuff. Just lightly just gather a little bit of stuffing and kind of just shove it inside. You don't want to stuff it too much. And we're just going to go in and kind of just spread it out. Okay, I'm not going to stuff a whole lot in here. Okay, so it's kind of flat, but also kind of squishy. Awesome. Then. We're going to close this top and make a buttonhole. So to do that, we're going to go through this stitch here and across the way through this stitch here. Okay? And we're going to slip stitch. So pull through and through. Okay? And then go through these two stitches here, this stitch and that stitch across the way, yarn over, pull through and through. The next stitches here and these next stitches here okay then we're going to make our buttonhole so let's chain um, four one two three and four and then slip stitch these next two stitches together oopsie there we go and these next two together next two and these next two Okay, and then we can fasten this off. So let's chain one, cut our yarn, pull it through, pull tight. We can even go into this piece here and pull that yarn to the inside of our tail. Just like that. And then we have a cute little buttonhole. There's our tail. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. So grab your poncho and we're done. We just have to button this right onto our poncho there. And there's your cute little tail. <laughs> how fun! Well, there it is. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this kitty cat poncho. This was so fabulous. So if you liked this video and learned something, make sure to like this video, thumbs up, and leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about it. And if you make this, please share your photos. Hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your cute kitties. And also, uh, most importantly, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you can keep up to date on our newest, latest projects. This is so fun. So thanks for watching, everyone. Happy hooking!